Hi everybody. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry, but uh here's what happened. So, I had a conversation with a friend before I uh decided to go ahead and start my YouTube channel and we were discussing whether or not I should do a YouTube channel or a podcast or a vlog or whatever and the suggestion was that maybe I should start out with a podcast because then I could just speak my mind and not worry about what I look like or um, what people's opinion might be about my physical appearance and so I decided to go ahead and go for the YouTube channel and I put the four videos out four or five I don't really remember just to see what the reactions would be and somehow in the middle of that I got these videos out and then I got stage fright and so I didn't make any more for a while until it occurred to me that on a daily basis this is pretty much what I look like uh, I'm not even gonna apologize I don't have the time for it I'm very low maintenance and what you see is what you get so I want to talk about this uh, ancestry DNA kit my husband bought me for uh, Mother's Day earlier this year and it was so great because I thought to myself finally I'll get an explanation for all this weird because it's pretty weird and so you know I spit in the thing I put it in the mail and signed up for all the things and you know eventually got my results back which of course there's 93 percent of the obvious and that includes uh, Nigeria Congo uh, Ivory Coast uh, Ghana uh, beautiful places and it's just the obvious to me so there was nothing amazing about that. what got my attention was the six to seven percent of what seems to me is considered junk DNA or DNA that they just didn't bother looking any deeper into and of course you kind of have to pay for that extra like anything else in this world but um, and that includes Western European the Caucasus fun word uh, Irish Scottish Welch and Scandinavian and the reason I find these so interesting is because I am not your garden variety black person. Never have been. And I really wanted to kind of dig into this a little bit because I've really just been a little odd around most of the people that I know. And that's okay. My parents were very, very supportive of me being not very much like them at all. And I grew up in a small community in West Alabama and you know nothing wrong with that there was actually an equal amount of black culture and white culture um, and I don't necessarily think that either one of them had uh, major influences on my life because I was always kind of a separate person um, but I did grow up uh, gaining a love for you know rock music grunge music I like Harleys I ride the Harleys I my husband has a Harley I love the wind I love taking pictures of the sky without a big you know window frame or whatever around them you know stuff like that and uh, my my speaking voice you know all of this good stuff and I just always kind of wanted an explanation because people have gone out of their way to let me know just how strange I am to them. It's not that big deal because to me, I don't imagine that I'm the only black person that likes rock music or the only black person that's ever ridden or owned a Harley Davidson or, you know, any of this um, non-stereotypical stuff. They're not big deals to me, but they're big deals to people who approach me and tell me that they're big deals. 
So when I got the results back from the DNA kit, I was kind of disappointed just because of the lack of detailed information. But I guess I can just be satisfied and shut up now because now I at least have like just that small bit of information that tells me that no matter what it looks like on the outside, I kind of function on my junk DNA that might explain a few things, but, uh, I think it's okay. Um, I think it's kind of a rip off when you get like the basic information, but you have to like join and pay extra money to get all the other information that ties in with that. But that's another story. Everybody's ripping everybody off nowadays, but, um, I just wanted to share that I talked to my uncle whose wife had, you know, done, had the same test done from, for uh, herself and my uncle. And he was so, I don't know if he was upset with me, but he was really, really interested to know why I wanted to know so badly. And I told him, I need an explanation for this weird. I need to know why I'm so set apart from, uh, the things that other people consider to be normal. And he told me that it shouldn't matter because the deal is, is that I am me. There's only one of me. And as long as I put my effort into being the best me that I can be, that works. And in my head, yep, it works. It totally works. So I'm really grateful to my uncle for you know throwing in that little bit of wisdom i'm still curious as to what was going on around god when he created me but we'll get to that in another episode but thanks for listening you guys don't forget to like share comment please talk to me i'm listening